A hot debate tonight as Southside residents push back against plans to move in migrants in need of shelter. Anthony Ponce has more on the heated discussion in Woodlawn. Tonight's meeting was packed with many people not happy about the city's decision to go ahead and open up a shelter for asylum seekers without their input at a vacant elementary school campus here on the south side of the city. Now tonight, the city presented many of the specifics for the plan itself, but that still seemed to offer little comfort to many. I am, to say the least, freaking appalled at this fiasco. That Woodlawn resident among hundreds who showed up to vent similar feelings about the city's plan to open up a refugee shelter at the vacant Wadsworth Elementary School campus. I'm especially concerned about loitering as well as solicitation that may occur on the campus grounds. Chicago police joined leaders of the Department of Family and Support Services to provide details facility, the 11 p.m. curfew, the 24-7 security, the no drugs or alcohol policy, and the process for residents to provide input. But for most here, it was too little, too late. They didn't even tell us, the residents. They did not tell us anything until the last minute. We will work to make sure that we communicate clearly with our plans going forward. A recurring theme, what about the area's existing homeless? This is beautiful. To go in and get a shelter for people, to help these individuals come over here. What about the people who have been here for the last 20 years? The work that we're doing for new arrivals is not detracting from the regular work that the department is tasked to do. Final cleaning and final construction on the shelters expected to be done by the end of next week, with the first 250 residents expected to move in on January 23rd. The city says it's planning for the shelter to be open for two years, but that they are hoping it can close before then. On the south side, Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 Chicago.